how are you guys doing? It's me, Nick, here again with another product review. Now, the product that I'm going to review today is. Oops, there we go. As I am, Twist Defining Cream. And I did make another video previous to this um, showing you my twist off results of the product. And um, I just feel like that video wasn't a real review, it wasn't a direct review. Um, you guys giving you my total experience with the product. So I just thought I would make an official review just to give you my, you know, my thoughts after using it a couple times and how I really feel about it. Because that one was just on one use. And this I've used a couple times now and I feel like I, I can give you a pretty good review. So, um, the As I Am Twist Defining Cream, um, what I do like about this product is I do like the packaging. I think the packaging is very cute. Um, but what's more important is what's inside the product. So it is not an all-natural product, just to let you guys know. But the majority of the in, the majority of the ingredients are natural. So what I can see from the items that I cannot pronounce, um, they're more towards the end of the list which is a good thing and then everything else is natural which is fine so if you are looking for a 100% natural product this is not 100% but the majority of the ingredients are natural and it is um, you know a good product for that reason um, I ordered this from Curl Mart it was $13 so for me the price point is really well um, also I, I've heard that you can buy this at Sally so it is a, a product that you can go outside and get it rather than ordering it um, which is also a benefit because most of us know that um, natural hair products you know in, in, in mass market shopping in stores is a little bit touch and go you can find them you can't find you can find certain brands and not others and just the fact that you're able to get it somewhere in a, in a store I think that's um, a really good benefit because um, some brands you just cannot find in stores and you can only get it online and um, I think people worry about that because they don't want to have to keep on ordering and paying shipping costs for the um, product if, if they really don't need to so you can find this at Sally's this brand um, which is another good thing um, and like I said it was $13 the price point is really good you can see that I've used quite a bit of the product so I feel I am somewhat qualified to give you a pretty good review and you can see I'm not sure if you can tell but it's like a jelly cream texture um, I'm not sure if you can see that but it's a very soft cream you can see that it's not tacky at all it's a very smooth cream and um, what I like about it is that you don't have to use a lot a little goes a long way and I've heard from some um, people or other reviews that if you use too much you can get residue so I didn't use too much I feel like I use just enough and I'm usually heavy-handed and because natural hair products are a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive really I do try to be cautious about how much I use in my hair and not to be heavy-handed so I can um, have my product last a lot longer and not have to reorder it so quickly so um, the directions say to use it on wet hair so that's what I did um, because I've been very finicky with um, twist outs and things like that when I have a product I use it as it says on on the um, container and then afterwards once I see the result then I'll tweak it a bit use it on dry twist outs or add this or add that so this I use just on wet hair freshly washed hair and um, I found it was pretty good it gave me really good definition um, which is a plus for me because as I mentioned in, in other videos I've had um, very hard it's been very hard for me to find products that give me a good twist out um, and I want to have a nice twist out I want to have cute coils and stuff because my hair I just don't have um, curls and definition right off the bat my hair is just it's like a 4B 4C if you want to categorize it so there's no curls you may have coils somewhere in there but it's more like like that cottony texture so for me to even get definition that holds is a very big plus and this gave me that hold and it wasn't like a crunchy hold which was good what I did notice is that um, after taking them down the twists were shiny by the way they were super shiny which is also another issue that I have 
with my hair is because sometimes it can look a little bit dull and I hate like that dull dry look on natural hair so the twists came out shiny they were very defined very spirally and um, that I was really happy about but when I did take them down it felt a little bit sticky and it felt kind of tacky like when I was touching it and that I didn't like but I was like okay yeah whatever because it gave me results that like so I was like okay I'll deal with it it's not a big deal but I didn't like that stickiness and um, the following times when I did use it, I used a leave-in conditioner prior to using the product. The first time I didn't use any leave-in conditioner, I just used the product on, on wet hair. The next times I used a leave-in conditioner and when I took the twist down, I had the same shininess, the same kind of bounciness, and there was no tackiness. So I do recommend, even though it doesn't stay on the jar, um, and you probably should anyway with that, whatever product that you're using, use a leave-in conditioner and you will not get any stickiness any tackiness and that was a plus for me because I was kind of on the fence about it I was like it gave me a good twist out but I had this sticky feeling but with leave-in conditioner I had no stickiness so it was really really good and um, I'm not sure if leave-in conditioners um, you know you know if, if it varies on your results it may because they all have different ingredients but personally I use uh, kinky curlies not today Sorry about the sun, it's like very, very bright. Um, so I know it's hard to see that, I'll just put like a caption or whatever. But I use Kinky Curly Not Today and it works really, really well. Um, and really, that's about it. It gave me like really good definition. This here is a As I Am Twist Out on the second day. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but I have really, really good definition you can see all through here the definition I just put pinned it back pin it back like so and put like some clips over there and I'll turn to the back so you can see it hopefully you can see it okay try to do a 360 but all in all I give this product two thumbs up um, you know what I did notice though is at the end of the day my hair does feel a little bit dry so um, and I think probably due to the fact that Kinky Curly doesn't have um, much oils in it. It's not one of those leave-ins that have any type of oil in it. Looking at the ingredients, I don't see any type of oil. So um, this product does have oils in it and it does help, you know, but at the end of the day, it was dry for my taste. My hair is just naturally dry, so it was dry. And um, I just had to re-moisturize and twist it back up and the next day it was fine, hydrated and everything. So I had no issues on, on that end. So um, once again, two thumbs up. I really like this product. Um, and I'm really happy because I, I just, like I said, needed to find that product that would give me a good twist out and I found it. Honestly, I don't know how well this will work on a dry twist out. I'll try it and I'll give you guys um, some feedback on that and I don't know how well this will work in the winter months because it's such a light cream and I may need like a more dense heavier cream to hydrate my hair when it gets a little bit colder because of the, the coldness drying out my hair but as of right now the weather is good it works good and I will stick to using it so once again I like it and thanks for watching this is Nicole with um my twist out and it was used by As I Am Twist the Finding Cream. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye now.